Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, it looks like there's no more need for leaks or speculation because the official Dokkan Twitter page has finally revealed all of the upcoming units for this year's Dragon Ball Heroes X Dokkan Battle Collab. And they also posted a pretty dope promo video which shows a little bit of Super Saiyan God Trunks' super attack animations which I would love to play for you guys right now, but unfortunately I can't because every single time I show one of those videos, I get copyright claimed. So what I'm going to do instead is post a link to that promo video in my description for those of you that are interested. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it and take a look at these characters. So from what I can tell this year, there's going to be five new summonable units, one free to play unit, and also 7 Extreme Z Awakenings and 5 Dokkan Awakenings or older Heroes units. So basically a lot of either new characters or upgrades to older characters. And the guy we're going to start with is probably the headliner I would say for this banner. For some people at least maybe you don't care. But I would say the most hype unit for most people would be this Super Saiyan God Xeno Trunks. And the description here is Trunks Xeno, who has awakened into Super Saiyan God in order to confront the Dark Empire, will appear in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover summon. Collect Awakening Medals in the Dokkan event, and Dokkan awaken him into a UR. Now, before you get too excited by the term Dokkan event, I don't believe this guy is a Dokkan Fest exclusive. You know, we're, we've been looking for, or waiting for, the uh, first Dokkan Festival Heroes unit. I don't think he's it. I think it's like last year where we had a Dokkan event for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. And even though he had a Dokkan event, he wasn't a Dokkan Fest exclusive. So I think the Trunks is the same deal where there is going to be a Super Saiyan God uh, Trunks Dokkan event, but he's not a Dokkan Festival unit. Okay, so anyways, first guy, Super Saiyan God Trunks. This was actually, I think, leaked by I Seriously a couple days ago, so a lot of you guys might have been expecting this. But for those of you that didn't know about it, there you go. Super Saiyan God Xeno you know, Trunks is going to be the, I guess, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito equivalent uh, for this year. Now, the next guy is going to be Dark King Mechikabura. I think that's how you pronounce it. Dark King Mechikabura, Power of Time Unleashed. Rejuvenated by the Dark Dragon Balls, the Dark Empire Armies, leader will appear in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover summon as Dark King Mechikabura, Power of Time Unleashed. Collect Awakening Medals in the special event and token awaken him into a UR. So when they say special event, I believe they mean a story event, uh, either a new one or the same one from last year, just a new stage. I'm not really sure, but there you go. Dark King Mechikabura is the second unit. The third one is Xeno Pan, which we've known about for a while. Pan Xeno, a member of the Time Patrol as uh, that confronts the Dark Empire, will appear in the SDBH crossover summon, collect Awakening Medals in the Token event, and Token Awaken her into a UR. And then we have Supreme Kai of Time, Brainwashed. Very interesting. She looks kind of like a zombie, I guess. Like, this looks like a Halloween unit to me, you know? Uh, Supreme Kai of Time, Brainwashed, who is brainwashed by the rejuvenated Dark King Mechigabura. Uh, Mechigabura's Dark Powers, my bad, will appear in the SDBH crossover summon. She will also appear as an enemy in a newly added stage of a special event. Okay, so they don't say she will awaken, so I'm not sure if she's going to be one of those units that does not get a Dokkan Awakening upon release. So maybe these ones will awaken, and then Supreme Kai of Time will awaken in the future for a different collab, possibly. I'm not too sure, but there you go. Brainwashed, Supreme Kai of Time, also a new summonable unit. And lastly, we have Robelu, Demigra uh, Secretary, almost said Cemetery. Demigra Secretary, Robelu, will appear in the SDBH crossover summon. Robelu and Demigra will temporarily support the Time Patrol members 
to confront Mechigabura. So she's the last summonable unit. So of the five summonable units, there's Super Saiyan God Trunks, there's Dark King Mechigabura, there's Zeno Pan, there's Supreme Kai of Time, Brainwashed, and also Secretary Robelu. And uh, of course, we also knew about Demon Goddess Poutine, who is going to be the free-to-play unit this year. Poutine, who has obtained the power of a Demon God from Mechigabura, will appear as Demon Goddess Poutine. Recruit her from recruit her from a newly added stage of a special event, and Doken awaken her into a UR. And lastly, we have the Extreme Z Awakenings for uh, seven older units, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, Boobity, Darkness Toa, Baby, uh, Baby Janemba, and Super Pycon, which we already knew about. So uh, there you go, guys. That is going to be the full... Oh, my bad. There's also five Dokken Awakenings. I don't remember exactly who's getting Dokken Awakenings. I don't have that prepared. Uh, I think it's Vajex. Uh, Zeno Goku, Zeno Vegeta. Oh man, who are the other two? Uh, I'm sure somebody knows. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I can't remember the other two Dokkan Awakenings that were uh, announced in the Dokkan Now program. It's another fusion. Uh, oh, Gohanks. Gohanks. That's four. And the last one is I don't know I, I really can't say there, there's one more though there's one more five token awakenings seven extreme Z awakenings five new summonable units once again Super Saiyan God Trunks uh, Mechikabura Zeno Pan Supreme Kai of Time and uh, Robelu and then Poutine is free to play and then these extreme Z awakenings so like I said man a bunch of upgrades a bunch of new units uh, pretty good in my books, but obviously, uh, you know, there are some units that people were hoping for that were not revealed, like Super Saiyan 3 Rose or Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta or another form of Gogeta or an LR Heroes unit or a Dokkan Fest Heroes unit. All those things are kind of missing, and uh, I know some people are probably disappointed in some way, but... It is what it is, right? Like, we can't really control who they release. Um, these are just the characters for this year. Maybe next year we'll get the Super Saiyan 3s we were hoping for. Or is there a chance maybe that there's one other big unit they're saving for a surprise or something like that? I'm not really sure. I guess that's always a possibility, right? Um, but I think it's unlikely. I think these are just the guys we're getting guys slash girls we're getting and uh i think it's pretty cool you know it's a bunch of characters that i'm not super familiar with because i'm not really a heroes guy you know i don't really follow it too much but i like their designs i'm excited to find out what they do which we don't know yet they haven't revealed their details there's hasn't been a you know data download or anything like that to leak the the details for these units so we just gotta wait and see but uh, yeah, there you go, guys. All of the upcoming Dragon Ball Heroes units have been revealed. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Are you maybe a bit disappointed or are you happy with Super Saiyan God Trunks? I know the reaction to him has been kind of mixed over the past couple of days. Some people were very happy about it. Some people, not so much, right? I'm kind of in, in the middle. I think he looks cool. I like Trunks. He wasn't my number one choice, but that's okay. I'm cool with it. And uh, lastly, before we go, I just want to give you guys a quick intro to all of these characters because maybe you're like me and you don't know heroes too well. So, uh, starting with Xeno Trunks here. Uh, Xeno Trunks is an incarnation of Future Trunks from a separate world to the main timeline, who is a member of the Time Patrol. And also, a interesting note here Xeno Trunks was originally going to achieve. Super Saiyan 4 during the Dark King Mechikabura saga. However, the developers could not decide on the hair color, purple or black, so it was scrapped in favor of Super Saiyan God. So that's why we have Super Saiyan God uh, trunks instead of Super Saiyan 4 trunks, which I think would have been better, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I would have preferred that, but it's all good. 
And uh, moving on to Xenopan. Xenopan is an incarnation of Pan from a separate world to the main timeline, who is a member of Time Patrol. And uh, you know what? I'm not gonna read like all about her appearance, but you guys can see she has the you know headband with the jacket and the green shorts and the the leggings and all that stuff. So I think she looks pretty cool. I mean, she's better than regular Pan, <laughs> you know, like Baby Pan or. Uh, the pan from GT, to be honest. Like, I like her design a lot, so I think that's cool. And then we have Mechikabura. Mechikabura, known as the Dark King, is an evil entity who reigns supreme in the demon realm and the main antagonist of the Dark Empire and Dark King Mechikabura sagas. Makes sense. Um, Mechikabura was first mentioned in Dragon Ball Online. He and Demigra's designs were taken from the same concept, or no, from the same concept art sheet, and prior to Mechikabura's debut, an entity referred to as the Master of the Demon World was mentioned in Dragon Ball Z, Shin Budokai. Uh, Mechikabura's name comes from the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo song, specifically, specifically the lyrics Mechikabula. Okay, interesting. So this is his old age form, and I guess once he gets rejuvenated, was it by the Dragon Balls? What did they say again? I don't know exactly what happens, but he gets younger and uh, somehow eventually becomes this form that we see in this art. Um, yeah, rejuvenated by the dra Dark Dragon Balls. There you go. And moving on to Kronoa, uh, Supreme Kai of Time. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with her. Uh, Kronoa, the Supreme Kai of Time, is a deity who watches over the flow of time from the cosmos. She is mentioned in Dragon Ball Online as the Lord of Time, and is a major character in the Xenoverse series. So that is the Supreme Kai of Time, slash Kronoa. We have Robelu, who is the... who is Demon God Demigura's secretary and a member of the Demigura army. And uh, that's what she looks like. She holds this... they call it a staff, it looks like a sword that she attacks people with, apparently. And lastly, we have Poutine. Uh, she's one of the strongest wizards during the foundation of the Dark Demon Realm. She is referred to as Two-Faced Poutine by the Demigra army due to having betrayed Demigra. So, I believe, I guess, she is a good person or like a good guy now because she used to be a bad guy. She used to work for Mechikabura and now she's defected to the good side, possibly. I don't know, man. I don't follow heroes, as you guys know, so... Don't take my word for it, but she looks really cool, especially this demon goddess form. Yo, I think this demon goddess form is uh, really, really sick. So, there you go, guys. Those are all the new characters. There's a little intro for you guys, and uh, once the details drop for all of them, I will definitely let you guys know in a future video. But for now, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.